In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of using email to exchange a sensitive attachment. Such an attachment could be a document, a photograph, a video, a sound recording, or any other type of digital media. Why is it important to have a secure method to exchange sensitive digital media by email? Because email is not and never claimed to be a secure method of communication. When you send an email, it can be intercepted and viewed by any number of unauthorized users. For example, by a hacker who's broken into the recipient's email account using malicious software, or by a malicious systems administrator of the email service provider, or by a government that's surveilling its citizens. Remember too, that email can remain on network servers indefinitely. Let's face it, plain and simple email doesn't provide the necessary security to safeguard proprietary, confidential, or sensitive information of a professional or personal nature. To allow users to exchange by email such sensitive documents, Intellect Map offers its secure email service that can encrypt any media that is attached to an email so that only the designated recipient can decrypt it. Even if your email is intercepted, the attachment can't be read. Here's how secure email works. First, go to the account tab and click on secure email in order to bring up the lock email attachment screen. Then click choose file and select from your folder the document that you want to encrypt. Here, the document that I'm encrypting is a Microsoft Word document called lock this attachment. The system gives the document a private tracking number that's only known by you and allows you to verify all communications concerning the attachment. You can also add additional digits, for example, an agreement number. Now it's time to enter a passphrase. It must be three or more words and is similar to a password but is longer for enhanced security. The passphrase is case insensitive so it can be easier to communicate verbally. My passphrase is four words long, hackers seek email exploits. I can share this passphrase with my email recipient by either giving it to them by a phone call, text, an instant messaging system, WhatsApp, or another secure communications application like Signal. Please be careful to remember your passphrase as this system does not store it. Also, for added security, your attachment in its encrypted and decrypted form are not stored by Intellect Map. Secure Email also allows you to set a date and time on which your attachment will no longer be available for decryption. In this case, I've set it for May 9, 2020. After I click the Lock File button, the encrypted version of the file called Lock This Attachment is downloaded by Intellect Manager to my computer. This is the file that I'll attach to an email that I can send to a recipient, regardless of whether they have an account with Intellect Map or not. At the same time, Intellect Map sends me an automatic email advising me that my document has been locked and providing me with a digital fingerprint called a hash that uniquely verifies that document. I've circled the new file extension of my attachment, which shows that it's now encrypted. I'm now ready to send my email with the encrypted attachment. Here's my email message with the encrypted document attached and a message advising the recipient how to unlock it by clicking on the secure email link. My recipient doesn't need an Intellect Map account for this operation. Once the email and attachment reach the recipient's inbox, that person will need to download the attachment to their device and then click on the link that will take them to the screen to input the passphrase. To unlock the attachment, my recipient will select the encrypted attachment from the folder into which it was downloaded, input their email address, which is an added security measure to assure the identity of the person, and then input the shared passphrase, hackers seek email exploits. As soon as the recipient of my email has unlocked it, Intellect Map will send me a no reply email with the full details of that operation as another security verification. It includes the recipient's IP address, the network used, their geographical location, their user identity, and the date timestamp. There's yet another feature of secure email that is offered. By checking a box, I can request that the recipient electronically sign the attached document, 
or approve and disapprove it after they've decrypted it. In this case, I check the box Request Document to be signed electronically. After I lock the file and it is downloaded to my computer, Intellect Map will send me an email notifying me that the document for e-signature has been locked and providing me with the encrypted document's hash code. A hash code allows me and the recipient of my email to independently verify the integrity of the document and that it has not been modified or tampered with in any way by a malicious hacker. The recipient of my email will now be able to download and decrypt the attachment with the passphrase I provided separately. At the same time, an intellect map will send the recipient an email with a link to follow in order to provide their e-signature. Here's the signature screen that the recipient is directed to. Their first step is to confirm that the document they read and are signing is indeed the one that I sent. That's done by uploading the encrypted document they receive from me. Next, my recipient checks the box that they've read the e-signed consent agreement, inputs their email address and the passphrase, and e-signs the document. This form allows the document to be verified with its hash code, ensuring that it's the recipient and only the recipient who signed the document. A hash code allows me and the recipient of my email to independently verify the integrity of the document and that it's not been modified or tampered with in any way by a malicious hacker. On my end, I'll receive an email from the Intellect Map system advising that the recipient has signed the document along with all the security time, location, and identity stamps. Remember that secure email doesn't require any special software for you to use, no apps need to be downloaded, and anyone with whom you shared the passphrase can receive and decrypt attachments without even needing an Intellect Map account.